Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, today I'm doing a little bit of an experiment. Um, I actually uh, swapped my two computers. I have a the main computer with the higher speed processor and a secondary computer with a lower speed processor. Uh, I move the higher speed processor uh, to my music room, my where I have a computer that I use for digital music and guitar and things like that. That one has the higher processor and more RAM. So that one's dedicated to that digital music type of work. And so the my secondary computer is this one, which is um, now the one that I'll probably be doing most of the videos on. And the this secondary computer did not have a Wi-Fi card, so I had to use the adapter um, that I had purchased a while back. It's a dongle. It's a Wi-Fi dongle. Um, it's it it cannot uh, handle the um, AC uh, Wi-Fi uh, signal. Only the N 802.11. You got the 802.11 N and the 802.11 AC. Well, the 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 dongle that I had uh, only handled the N. So, uh, and I'll show you the the two that I'm referring to. Okay, this is the one that I had. It's um, 802.11 N. Uh, it's got a rating of 300 megabytes per second. Backward compatible to 802.11 G. Um, I purchased that uh, about a year and a half ago. It's worked fine. Um, but <clears throat> now that this computer is quite a long ways from the router, uh, I'm having trouble maintaining a decent Wi-Fi signal. So I wanted to get an adapter that would handle the 802.11 AC. So based on some reviews and some research that I did I selected this one here now one of the things that I found with the 80211 AC as far as Linux is concerned is that there is some <clears throat> there's some uh, difficulty with drivers so I made sure that I bought one that uh, had uh, the, a driver that was available within Linux, and if I if I scroll down and I look at the questions that were related to this particular item, it said, "What is the uh, what is the uh, chipset?" And <clears throat> it's the Realtek RTL 8812AU. Well, I checked within Linux, and <clears throat> specifically Arch Linux had a driver readily available now I had to download the headers from my particular kernel in order to be able to load the DKMS uh, module for this particular driver so I did that and now I'm ready <clears throat> since I just received the uh, the new dongle in the in the mail today I'm going to run a test. So right now I have the old dongle set up, the 802.11n, and uh, it's in a, um, you know, it's going to be apples to apples because I'm going to use the same USB 3 port, uh, same location obviously. Nothing is going to change and I'm going to run a test on both of the items uh, so that we can see whether or not there really is a big difference. Now I ran a test a few minutes ago and my signal strength here is terrible, absolutely terrible. I'm going to run another uh, another uh, test here. Now this is with the old dongle. I have not put the new dongle in yet. Uh, that'll be uh, interesting in itself because I loaded the drivers ahead of time so it should recognize it and uh, it should be able to be used. But let's run this first test.
and you can see the system is having difficulty connecting. I mean, it's a 13 millisecond ping, so that's not too bad, but um, my, um, my uh, internet provider, my ISP, uh, advertises um, a speed about 15 times greater than this. So, but I'm getting four or five, and let's see. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I've got to download a five, and it's going to do the upload, which should be about four, but uh, it may not get there. So, once I finish this test, then I'm going to pause the video insert the new dongle, hope that it recognizes the driver, and then run the same test over. This is how erratic the signal is. So it's telling me 0 0.95, but uh, of course it went higher than that. So I'm going to insert the new dongle, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, well, I plugged it in, and it recognized it right away. I was able to connect to my network, so let's see if we have a difference in the speed. So I'm going to open up a new window, and we'll get back to the same speed test. And hopefully there is a difference. If not, I've wasted my money. All right, so we are connected. Let's go. Well, it looks like we have quite a bit of an improvement. That's pretty significant. This should get close to four, five. Well, I guess the numbers don't lie. Old dongle, new dongle. Money well spent. So guys, uh, if you are interested or if you have a need, uh, this dongle, so far on first try, this thing works fantastic. It's also uh, usable on Windows XP all the way to 10 and Mac all the way to the newest uh, 10.12 which I will be testing it on shortly. So guys, that is it for this video. Interesting test. Um, the new dongle passes with flying colors. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.